doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties, I need to make some space in the craft room, which means I need to recycle, consolidate, or get rid of some rooms. This is our pink and green room that we made in 2021. I don't use it that often and I've already taken a lot of pieces out of it. So this seems like a good room for a makeover, allowing me to keep crafting without taking up any extra space. Ooh, and I finished one wall on the outside of the box. That's cool. This is what it looks like currently on the inside. So it's a pretty decent canvas to work with. I also have this room we made a long time ago. It was used as part of the guy's apartment in Summer and Cali. Since the guys are no longer roommates, oops, was that a spoiler? We haven't used this set in a while, so it's gotten a little dusty. So maybe we can give it a little makeover today. We even have our gamer chair from a previous video, which is perfect, because I kind of want to make a gamer desk in a hidden doll room. So let's clear out this space and pack all of this stuff away. We do have a little wall damage and I wanna remove the black frame. So let's go ahead and do that. This is like a real demo day. Let's add new foam board to add panes and a new frame around the window. I think we can cover up these spots on the walls later with maybe posters or something. This desk totally doesn't match the vibe, but we want to recycle. So let's carefully remove it. Here are all the pieces. Let's take the curve off the desk. Then I'm going to flip it so it can fit into this corner. Let's cover the top with a wood grain paper. Last minute, I decided to cut it into two separate pieces because I do think I want to place it on the edge of the room. So let's re-glue them together. Instead of putting the original legs back on, I'm cutting some wooden dowels that are a lot thinner. I glue them near the corners and some across the longer spaces. Take coffee stirs, carefully cut them in half. I glued them on to add more support. I paint the wood black, then let it dry. While waiting, let's remove the bottom from the chair. I'm taking one of the legs that used to be on the desk and I'm gonna cut it down. Glue it to the bottom, then let's paint it. I'm tapping it with paint, hoping to give it a little texture and create the illusion of leather. It might not, but that's what we're going for. Let's add some details with pink paint to give our chair a new look. Nothing is glued in yet. Let's measure this space. It's about three and a half inches which just so happens to be the same width as the shelves that were already in this room. Let's just cover them with leftover paper to match, paint wooden dowels, glue them to the foam board. I added more of those cut coffee stirs in the back, making an X. Yay, it fits! I took this pegboard from our Goldie Blocks room. I carefully removed the stickers. It's just a small piece of foam board that we punched holes in with a pencil and let's attach it to the wall above the desk. But I'm just setting it there right now for placement. I have a little tear in my paper, so I'm thinking let's add some baseboards. I cut half inch strips of foam board and glued them to the wall, leaving a little space so it can still close. I took Bella's art from her frog food series and made a new printable with posters, a computer, and some wall art. Hold on, I'm repainting the chair again. Now we can let it dry. Cut out the printables. I printed mine on cardstock. Add poster putty to the back if you want them to be removable, or just glue them to the walls if you want them to be permanent. This is a good way to cover up some of those marks on the walls. 
Let's recycle more of that foam board by pulling it apart and resizing it. Cover them with leftover paper. Take two paper clips, open it up to make a triangle that can fit the board. Trim off the excess to make a shelf. Cut out the computer, add layers of paperboard to make it thicker, then glue on the back. Fold and glue on paper for the back to make the computer. Add the keyboard. For the mouse, I stacked and glued layers of cardstock. Then let's add hot glue to give it a little bevel. Add clear nail polish for a shine and you got a mouse. Cut out the frog tendo stitch and all the templates. Stack and glue them together to make a miniature frog tendo stitch. The last thing we have on our printable is a miniature notepad. I was going through prior crafts and I found this storage unit. It's from our DIY how to make seven quick crafts for 2021 video. Let's touch up the paint because it has seen better days. While waiting for that to dry, let's decorate with Shopkins from the Shopkins Happy Places collection. Remember, they went with the little shoppies? I was super crazy about them when they came out. I have a decent size collection. I think they will make the perfect, super cute addition to this space. I'm using a lot of the laundry room stuff because we get all these little baskets. We have a pencil sharpener, a vase with a flower. We can place our notepad in this little basket. There we go. This is a little planter. We can add artificial plants to it to add a touch of green and cover up stuff we don't want seen. We have a little pencil pouch and a box of tissues. I like the idea of using this little mini book to prop up the frog tendo. I'm adding more greenery across the top. Let's add a few printable books our miniature Four Town CD. I'm adding a few items from the Real Littles bag collection, like the comic book, game controller, and the headphones. Now that our storage unit is dry, let's attach it to the wall, making sure it's high enough to clear the floor. Add books, binders, and mini toys. I added a few LOL Surprise minis to add to the clutter. I have some tiny printables to help cover up any blemishes and complete our new room. This is a fun space where our dolls can hang out and play video games. We have our comfy chair and we were able to recycle and reuse some older crafts, which is always fun. And since this is a hidden doll room, the side can close up for easy storage. Thank you for joining us while we made a new gamer room for our dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.